Hello, and welcome to a, another Thursday's Thoughts in our series, The Dog on Truth. I think, I, uh, I think I'm ready this time. I have quite a few treats, but first, but come here. First, you guys say hello. Say hello to the camera. All right, then I'll give you a treat. Here, here. Hold on, hold on, buddy. I think I have it under control, but I may be wrong. Here, here you go. Um, if you've been watching any of this series, um, and they're, I believe they're still available, um, the past ones, on Facebook and YouTube. And um, just what I've been doing, I uh, just felt to do it. Um, you know, he's my new puppy. And I've been um, trying to train him, but it's funny how like God even has been pointing things out every time on our walks and just, um, I need to start writing it down because that a couple things happened the other day and I, I completely forgot what it was. But, um, one of the things that did come up the other day, uh, when I was walking and we were doing our normal little hunt, um, I tried to get him to stay, uh, and he, he will for a moment, but whether it be if I have a treat or if it's, you know, something that we're hunting for, I try to get him to stay, wait for the right time, you know, it's, uh, because if he just runs after anything, he runs the street, get hit by a car. Or, um, you know, his prize will get away. Um, so, actually, the other, the other day, like I said, you know, basics, we're still working on the basics with him. You know, he was a little wild boy from out in the woods of Kentucky. And, um, like I said, I'm retraining uh, on some things because he's just, he looks at me and I let him get away with too much. But, um... You know, with him, the basic, you know, commands are sit, lay, and stay. Sit and lay, he, he gets well enough, I guess, for right now. Um, and that's if he wants something, and um, that's still so, yeah. So we need to work on them all. But stay, definitely, he is not a patient individual. I guess me and him are kind of alike on that, that one part. I have another one, buddy. Mm. You, tell me, here you go. That, that one, you're not going to get through that. Here, look, up. look cute for the camera, okay? Hey, buddy, go ahead. Here. Oh, you want the toy? There you go. All right. Um, but I uh, just want to go over a few scriptures because um, he's up in our list. Hey, hey, buck, buck, buck. Lay down, lay down, lay. Come on, you're on the TV. Come on, lay down, lay, sit, lay, whatever that is. Bow down, whatever. All the way down, all the way down, booty down, booty down. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now, let's see. Stay. Stay there and eat that. Um, but I was reading through different scriptures uh, and um, actually through a devotional. God's been actually, a lot of things wait on him it, just in my life. And don't take control. And just over and over and over, he's been confirming it with so many different ways. Uh, even through random people that I, I don't even know. Uh, have been telling me, hey, God's time, just wait on him. And it's just ridiculous how God knows what I need. Um, but I, I've been doing a little reading, and um, some of the things I've come across were uh, King David, who, if you read his story, it's even, mm, buddy, even more than I know, he had to wait. Um, and, one, and the reason why I uh, speak about him first, because in Psalms uh, 27, 14, it says, and this is one of the scriptures that I read maybe a few days ago, one of my verse for the days. Uh, wait on the Lord. Be strong and take heart and wait on the Lord. Again, they made, they made sure they said it twice in the same verse, wait on the Lord. Um, and it, it's funny how like King David, you know, he, he gets a lot of abuse from me because I'm like, oh, you know, he was a guy for God's own heart, but he had like 200 wives and all that stuff and he still... Cheated on them all with somebody else's wife, got her pregnant, you know, all the, I, I pull up all the dirt from them. But um, there are some really great things about him, and the, the reason why they say he had a heart after God is because when he was showing things, he tried to really change. Um, but from the time he was anointed, and I'll put some links underneath the, uh, the, the post uh, that you could read, but uh, from the time he was anointed to the time he became king of Israel was like over 20 years. Uh, you know, just kind of a, to summarize it, uh, he was anointed, uh, he, you know, he, he was still out in the field, and then his daddy said, hey, go bring your brothers who are like the warriors, uh, they're out getting ready to fight the Philistines, 
uh, bring them some cheese and everything else, you know, some snacks. And so he goes out there and, you know, he, he kills Goliath. Um, and then he, he actually, from that time on, you know, he was actually in the king's palace, you know, and then the king tried to kill him and all that stuff. And he even, he ended up actually, I didn't really know, I probably heard it before, but I didn't remember. He ended up like, he was so scared of Saul, you know, that he went and lived with the Philistines after he killed Goliath. He was living there and actually getting ready to start fighting with them and things like that. But, um, you know, then even once Saul and Jonathan were dead, he still wasn't right away given, you know, the position of being king. You know, he still had, uh, uh, starts with A, I don't remember, uh, one of Saul's sons or whatever. But, um, I just found that very interesting. And you can find those, of course, in, uh, 1 Samuel, 2 Samuel, uh, I believe is where, uh, all the story is, man, I love you, dude. I do. Here. Here, Buck. Um, but God, God was preparing David for that position. I mean, through his whole life, he was preparing him. I don't have anything else in my pocket. I don't think I do. Yeah, you just smell what was in there, partner. Here, look, see, nothing. And um, sometimes God, like, I heard something, a, a different devotional, somehow how God's blessings are ready for us waiting for us. Uh, he's just waiting for us to be ready for the blessings. And I, I, I've found that to be very true in my life. Uh, I've jumped the gun on certain things multiple times, and I wasn't ready for them. And all it did was cause a bigger detour and pain and heartache on my part and others. I guess I wasn't ready to have you as my little puppy, but it's okay. I love you. We're going to get through this. Um, here, man, look, I have one right in your face. But another scripture, um, like, you know, they were talking actually in 2 Peter uh, chapter 3, talking about how people will say different things and how they've been saying, oh, you know, God's going to restore and you know, he's coming back and all this stuff and all these times. And how people are like, yeah, it hasn't happened. Just like today, uh, in our day and age, you know, 2,000 years later, people are still saying, oh, you know, Oh, this, this can't be true. You know, all this stuff's happening. Where's God at? Where's he really at? But um, in 2 Peter 3, 9, uh, the scripture actually says, The Lord is not slow to fulfill his promise. He's not slow the way, the way, um, he does not have slowness the way other people see slowness. He's actually being patient on us. Um, so it really falls back on, on us. He's wanting us Christians to reach the lost, and he's, he's given time for the lost to, to be found, to uh, find Christ in you know, his salvation, and to trust and make the changes they need to make to where they'll have eternal life with them always. And it's just that love. And um, I think a lot of waiting, and I may have uh, said this kind of with another uh, video, or at least it was in my head, um, with the waiting, you have to be able to trust, it, trust in faith and have faith that I only want, or God only wants the good for us. Hey, Buck, here you go, buddy. Um, God only wants what is good for us. And he's, he's allowing things that need to be allowed to make us ready. Um, but that was, uh, that was a little bit of, there was another scripture, I believe. Oh, yes. Um, just like I said, faith and trust. And a couple of scriptures that I, I, I want to throw in there with the faith. Um, we all know that, you know, in uh, Matthew and Mark, they talk about, oh, the mother, it only takes a mustard seed of faith. And you can, you know, you can ha have anything done for you. And people use anything in God's will, first off. But um, even with that, you know, Matthew says it only takes a mustard seed and you can say it's not be moved. Mark adds a little bit to it, which I like. Um, Mark. Uh, said, you just have to have no doubt and you can ask anything and it will be done for you. Um, and then even in uh, James 1 and 6, it's like, uh, it says, Lord, really? It says that um, you can't ask for something 
and doubt it and not have faith and expect it to happen. If you have any, if you have any doubt, it's, it's not true faith. I mean, I, it, sometimes we put faith in ourselves. We don't wait. We try to do things ourselves. Okay, I'm going to help God. Like, yeah, yeah, that's, that's really good. Hey, buddy, maybe I need to get help training you. Oh, uh, now you're going to act hurt. Hey, sit. Sit. Sit down. Come on. You at least know how to sit. 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 Anyway, let me go take care of this little one. But um, I've been dealing with it. I hope it speaks to somebody else to, to wait on God. It, it, a lot of it is not God being slow. He's actually being patient with us and making sure that, that we're ready for what we're asking for. Um, and if what we're asking for isn't what he wants, he is trying to change our hearts and he's waiting for uh, that to happen. Oh, I shouldn't have let you take a nap, should I? Anyway, uh, we will get this under control. We'll probably have maybe like two or three doggone truths left, um, even though there's probably a lot more, but um, maybe two or three, and then we'll switch it up and maybe uh, do something a little different, maybe with, uh, I don't know, health and fitness. We'll see. Anyway, hopefully you guys are all doing well. Um, I do apologize. It seems like these videos have gotten a little uh, longer and a little more distracting. But again, it all comes down to this. Um, be able to wait on the Lord. Uh, there's so many verses about waiting on the Lord and he'll renew your strength. God's only going to want you to wait as long as you need to wait. Whether it be for others or it be to prepare you um, for what he has. Or he's just trying to change you. But have true faith and trust in our Heavenly Father that he does love us. And that even in the wait, it is for our own good. Anyway, love you guys, and uh, hopefully I'll see y'all next week. And we got a little bit. He, he won't be taking any more naps. We'll uh, figure it out. We'll go for a really long walk in the hot summer sun uh, before we do this show. All right.